Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to check in and see how everybody's doing on this stint of social social isolation. Um, yesterday, I talked about providing more education. So last week, I did a blog post before all of this stuff came about, um, talking about tips to take better pictures of your kids during spring break. And I think that's a good place to start right now. I think everybody's going to be around their kids more, around family more, and it's just a good time to connect with them. Um, which is something we should probably do more of in general. So let me give a few quick tips. The number one thing I wanna talk about is lighting. Lighting is very important. Um, you, if you avoid the midday sun, that's when the sun's straight ahead and causes harsh shadows on the face and that's never very flattering for anybody. So you always wanna watch the position of the light. Um, generally speaking, you want the light at your back However, that causes shadows in the face. I figured I'd give you a good tutorial right now on lighting, and this applies to any camera or iPhone or anything else. I'm recording on my iPhone right now. Um, I've been in Corpus dealing with my some family issues and stuff like that. I'm happy to report my dad is cancer-free still, which is very exciting news, which is why I've been in Corpus dealing with that. Um, once I get back home to Austin, I will be able to do a little bit more. Um, so I'm in a hotel right now on the bayfront in Corpus Christi because the hospital is right down the street, but it's a perfect place to give you an example of lighting. So right now the patio window is off to this to my right, um, and the room is this way, and it's dark that way. So let me show you. Um, if you are always have your back to the light and your kids facing the light, that's going to be your most ideal flattering light when you're inside. And let me show you an example of that. So. That's me backlit and you see how dark I am versus if I spin around and the lights in front of me, it's much better lighting um, and it just is more flattering. However, if you have to be backlit, let me show you another thing you can do. I've got a pillow from the bed. You can see how it changes the light on my face from being backlit and how it brightens up just putting the white reflector in there <laughs> and pulling it back down. It's dark again, white reflector puts light in my face again um so that's something quick and easy you can do with anything having a reflector that way um a few other tips and tricks sorry i wanted to talk about um don't ask your kids to pose they don't like posing um and i do this with all my clients play with them let them play let them do the, do what they want to do um when they're doing that they're happy and they give you the best expressions you just have to be quick to capture them and that's a whole other story and topic in and of itself um if you're photographing little kids, get down on their level. Sit down on the ground, you know, lay down on the ground. I get dirty anytime I go to a session. That's nothing new. <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> kids are dirty and they love playing with everything on the ground. So that's always something else. And just have a conversation with them. Talk to them um, while they're playing with everything. Ask them to show you what they're doing. And it usually puts a smile on their face and it's a great way to capture expressions that way. Um, so if you're planning these outdoor walks with your kids, um, take advantage of these tips, use them, you know, use the trees behind you to filter the sun if you have to and angle and play around with that. Um, and there are plenty more things I can go in more detail. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here and I will start getting into more camera details and stuff like that because I've been asked about that a lot. Um, how to use the camera and settings on the camera and then more um, photography tips in general. But I hope this is a good start. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave comments below, message me. You can read these tips on my website too, jmapantel.com. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.